My name is Firele Baez. I am Dominican and Haitian, and I am in, from the United States. My work deals with found histories, many times histories that are not told in the books we read every day. So the work I am presenting today is a way of bringing untold histories into one space in book pages downstairs and in this architecture upstairs. There's a thread of burning tires, which is a symbol of resistance all around the world. And um, in Haiti, whenever there's a protest, or Dominican Republic, whenever there used to be a protest, usually the people would burn a tire in the middle of the road, any means necessary that you have within your reach to make your voice heard. If you were able to walk into a space and see two different countries spliced together, this is what I would be for me. I went to school in the Cooper Union, which is downtown Manhattan. And behind Cooper Union is the Ukrainian Cultural Center. And there they have these beautiful embroideries. And one that was really special to me was this one Carpathian um, embroidery that was of a goddess that looked very similar to a goddess embroidery or symbol from Haiti. So when people come into the room, they'll be able to see the melding of both symbols from the Caribbean and symbols from Ukraine, which visually are very similar. They bring you to the present because this is a landscape that is in the state of either being formed or being destroyed. So you're like a, a viewer to whole new worlds. And when you walk through the door, you see this space full of plants that are just very welcoming. And so you can sit there and despite all the chaos in the world, be able to rest and just enjoy yourself or reflect on what reality is, what reality could be. Because I am mostly a painter and a drawer, I usually think of things as uh, a space of illusion. Um, usually when people come into a painting, they're not um, involving their body as much. But here you get to experience um, both the illusion of a painting and the physicality of a sculpture. So in a way, before you even think about what the painting is, your mind and body are connecting it. So for me, the viewer is very important in the sense that they make the work along with me. In the viewing of the work, they give the other half. So when I'm making it, I'm thinking of something that's very fantasy and history and reality all together. It's like a moment of either chaos or creation. So when you're coming in, you can either see this as a space of destruction or you can see it as a space of creation. It's up to you.